This lovely warm light came from the U.S. in my luggage. Well, not the light, but the light bulb that's producing it. One just like this. I could travel with them because they're constructed of almost unbreakable plastic. Besides that nice feature, they boast a life of over 10,000 hours. They produce pleasant light in ample quantities, as you can see. They do it with minimal energy consumption and very little heat. They're a tremendous improvement over the fragile glass, energy-sucking, heat-belching, incandescent lights of my youth. LEDs, or light-emitting diodes, are revolutionizing the way we do light. In 1962, Nick Holniak Jr. produced the first LED in the light-visible spectrum. It was not the first LED. That was back in 1927. The reason we haven't heard much about that inventor is because the light he produced was invisible to the human eye. And at the time, there was no practicable use for an infrared LED. But now we use it every time we pick up a TV remote. It took 80 years from that first LED to a reliable, consumer-friendly light bulb. But in 1962, Holniak said he glimpsed the future. When his LED glowed red, he instantly knew that it would revolutionize the way we light our world. Well, consider these two biblical references to light. For God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. And here's another. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light and the Lamb is its lamp. There is an ultimate revolution coming in how our world is lit. And the deeper this world is plunged into darkness, the more I long for the light of Christ's return. I don't know how far it is in the future, but I've seen the first installment, the glory of Christ in my heart, and I long for its full coming. Come quickly, Lord Jesus.